Hey, what's up, guys? It's Don, and uh, I'm back for another one of those weird uh, late night live streams that I do impromptu, unannounced. Uh, once again, up, hanging out, cleaning the studio tonight. Uh, got everything uh, rearranged here. Got a, a little projector screen put back there so I can watch movies when I'm not recording. And, uh, yeah, decided uh, after getting the yaw set back up, uh, yeah, just jump in and uh, end my night with a, a little roller coaster riding um, in VR. And, you know, I'm also going to do something a little different. I'm, I'm, I pulled the old uh, uh, Pimax 5K Plus out of uh, Surplus. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's a good reason for that. I totally forgot that they had done a, a firmware update. And I think actually a while ago, I've just been using the 8K x for you know since january of last year um that enabled 144 hertz mode and i had never tried the higher refresh rates like that anything above 120 in the the older update that this thing did and uh it blew my mind how how butter smooth the head tracking was so so i i can't wait to try it in something fast paced like no limits here so anyway i'm going to stop jibber jabbering around here and and we'll just ride some roller coasters and hang out and if you guys want to talk throw throw something in the chat i'd i'd love to talk to you i'm up late and can't sleep and you know whatever all right Let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and warm up here. Uh, start with just uh, Colossus. I've not played this game since I got the y'all, actually. Let's recenter. Wait, can I not recenter here? Whoa, here we go. Oh, <laughs> it's always a funny feeling when it swings you into position like that really quick. So, you know, on the nice little leisurely ride to the top of the hill here, I, 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 I got to address one thing. So it is really cool to have, and I know this is going to look bad on the camera here, that the butter, butter smooth head tracking that the 144 hertz gives you. Uh, but at the same time, I don't know. It's it's the graphics. It, it's weird seeing this amount of uh, lower resolution compared to the 8KX that I've been using or the, the, the Reverb G2. And, and now I'm kind of seeing the screen door effect and you don't notice it. I used to think that this headset was like super crystal clear. And, and now it's like, yeah, it's really good. Don't get me wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> God gets me every time. Um, it's super crystal clear. Uh, and, oh, man, it's even so much better with that 144 hertz head tracking. But I don't know. I'm, I'm missing that super sharp, crisp graphic now you know with the 8kx running at 72 hertz I, I mean granted if you get the lucky lottery winner you know and you get a 30 series card then yeah you can push an 8kx now to 90 hertz which would be glorious or at least you know average on par with everything else out there uh, pretty much but you know without that 30 series card you're stuck at 72 hertz with the uh with the 8kx so you get the 4k screen and the no screen door and everything's beautiful but you don't get that smoothness that you're getting here and, and i hope that's coming off for you guys on the screen i mean it's so hard to describe what i see in vr um you know <laughs> so all right nice little warm up there on colossus uh so, geez, who'd ever thought in 2021 I'd be riding roller coasters in my frickin' house? <laughs> I don't know. VR still blows my mind after all these years. Okay. Woo, swing me around. So, I can't believe it. I, you know, I'm actually going to say this. The first time I ever showed um, people gameplay of this in the yaw with the Pimax and everything... I literally got a bunch of questions from other players of, of no limits 
new players, obviously, that, that, that were saying, dude, how do you change tracks without quitting the whole game? And, you know, for those who have never seen it, I'm just going to show it right here because I do still get that question um, in comments and in and, and private messages. It, it, click this little X right here. There you go. That's how you do it. That's, you, you change tracks. Right? Yeah. So, all right, <laughs> let's ride something with a little more teeth here. So, um, you know, I got to say for, for an older sim, No Limits 2 still has a lot of viability. And it's actually still being used by real roller coaster designers. I mean, people who actually build the real thing. Um, I don't like flying coasters. Gwazi. Hybris, Hydra, Kingsland, Kumba. Ooh, wait. Rocket Man. I have not done this one. Fast Rocket Coaster. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what Rocket Coaster is all about. So, and, and okay, so another thing I'll kind of go back to talking about, because, you know, like I put in the description, oh, Jesus, okay. Whoa, no, there's no... Oh, Lord, gee... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is more like flying. This is insane. I was not expecting it to go this fast. I mean, it, shit, it said rocket coaster. I mean, you know, what was I expecting? But whoa. Oh, that's nuts. Oh, I do not recommend this. Kids, if you do not have your VR legs, whoa, short but sweet. Ooh, man. Okay, that was insane. So, very, very cool. Um, anyway, I, I kind of almost lost my train of thought, but then I didn't. The elazing. Um, I also, you know, it's it's so much more elazing, even with the anti-elazing on. Um, in, in these, in the, the, the standard resolution headsets like the 5k plus. Um, so, oh, oh man, I don't know. So, all right, we'll jump back out of here. And, you know, I, I, I think I will go ahead and just quickly jump over and see if anybody is even watching the stream. So yeah, it looks like we got about five people watching. Um, so thanks for anybody who is joining. I'm just, I can't sleep. I, I, I'm just hanging out in my studio. I was cleaning up. I got the yaw set back up, and you know, I thought, uh, what the hell? I haven't switched out headsets in a while. So just kind of recapping. Um, and uh, pulled my 5K Plus back off the shelf because it was my first Pimax wide field of view and. I had not used it with the simulator yet, and I wanted to see if the 144 hertz makes a difference, and damn, it does. The, the head tracking is just nuts. Um, it's so butter smooth at 144 hertz. But if you're just joining the stream, you know, like I was saying, it, I don't know. It, it, it's such a trade-off uh, because I do really, really, really miss the the super crisp resolution of the 4K headsets. Uh, if I could get motion compensation to work correctly uh, with the Reverb G2, I would probably trade the FOV of the Pimax for it. Uh, just based on the fact that it is 90 hertz and it is super, super crisp. I mean, it is just the best looking damn display I have ever seen in a VR headset. And, and I will say it, it is even crisper to me. I mean, it looks better than the AKX. Uh, now, the AKX can look phenomenal when you tune it. Um, I mean, when you tune that baby, it is just great. So, okay, I know. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Kumba. Let's, let's ride Kumba. Kumba. Let's do it. Uh oh, shit. Oh, shit. Lots of, lots of loops. Okay. And I took the handles off. <laughs> I should have took my Hotas off and put the roller coaster handles back on. Yeah. Oh, shit bars. Whoa, hey. Oh, hey, nice. 
I love how you can see like all the little dings in the metal and stuff. Oh lord. Well, let's get a little recenter here. There we go. Kind of, well, I was catching those in my peripheral. Because, you know, in a normal headset, that's something also that you don't have to worry about is, is you know, catching little things like that in your peripheral because you have no peripheral in a, in a normal headset. I mean, uh, it's a long climb to the top. Hello, randomly scattered trees. <laughs> so the backgrounds in this game, I mean, obviously it is really old. It could, I couldn't even imagine how awesome this would be, like, completely refreshed and updated. Oh, Lord, no. Oh, Lord, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, yes, here we go. Oh, God, that feels so much more real with the yaw. I mean, this this little bowl, this little bowl on wheels, it is the most amazing presence enhancer I have ever had for virtual reality. I, now, granted, it's, it's completely a, 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 a use case. I mean, it's not for everything, but man, for sim gaming and doing stuff like this, I love this thing so much. <laughs> oh, guys, y'all, I cannot wait. You know, let's talk about that for a minute. I, whoa, oh, I went a little low on that one. Um, Sim Racing Studio needs to be tuned just a little bit because uh, I'm up on a platform and it just smacks it every once in a while, but that's okay. So, you know, like I was going to get to, um, for people who are watching this stream who are not familiar with y'all, I am going to have links for all of this in the description. I mean, everything that I use, I always show you guys. But um, my friends Kaz and Cherry, they were the first ones to break the news of it. But a couple of weeks ago, the, the news of the Yaw 2 uh, broke. And oh my lord, that thing just looks fabulous. Complete chair, more motion, it just looks nuts. Cool LEDs, I cannot wait. And I hopefully, oh God, I hope and pray that I, I can continue my, uh, you know, my working with them uh, and, and test that out when it's ready. I know they're going to do a Kickstarter for it, so everybody be on the lookout. You know, you bet your bottom dollar I will be teasing the crap out of that all over my socials when it drops because uh, i you know these guys deserve I, I i i'm not trying to shill i am not i really really believe in this product it, it is first gen but it's an affordable compact motion so i mean i can put it up on its shell and slide it under my bed if i needed to i mean i've got a pretty high bed but i don't know i don't know blah 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 blah, blah. more roller coasters more roller coasters uh, more centering. There we go. All right. So if, if anybody is out there watching, I will check the chat after this next roller coaster. And you guys have any questions about the headset, the, 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 the simulator, my, me, the world, anything. Just throw them in the chat, man. Um, if you are familiar with this and you have a specific roller coaster that you want me to ride, um, by all means, uh, throw it in the chat. And, and if I've got it in the basic pack here or if I can quickly download it, um, I will do it. Oh, what's this? 4D coaster and a 7 inversion multi looper. Okay. <laughs> Do we dare? Oh, yeah. We dare. We dare. Oh, Lord. What the hell is this thing? Oh, great. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of losing my voice. I, yeah, it's one thing. Y'all haven't seen my. A lot of content on my channel lately. I've been kind of off and on, not feeling so good. Not COVID. Um, a lot of it's just these. Oh, Jesus. I'm going backwards. What the crap is this? No, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. Uh, not cool. 
not cool. Um, can can we flip forward now? Yeah, let's let's flip forward now. Oh, that's weird. I was literally kind of feeling a sensation of elevation. I don't know why, uh, because the yaw uh, does not provide that sensation. It doesn't have heave. I think is what it's called or lift. Um, oh man, this is like freaking me out, y'all. I've done roller coasters in VR for years, dating back to the original Rift coaster on the DK1 but I've never ridden one backwards in wide field of view in semi high resolution in a motion simulator. What the no. Uh, uh. see, I thought that's what I was on. See, it's a normal roller coaster. Not, not this freaky freak freakiness. What? Oh no, no Lord. No oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh God. Uh. Okay. Oh. You can see the first fat man have a heart attack in VR. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, whoa, that was an intriguing experience. Oh. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm flying. This is nuts. Whoa, and now I'm going backwards again. Oh, wow. I don't like the backwards. Oh, I don't like the backwards. Oh, clickety-clack, could, could we be done? Are we done? Let's be done. Yeah, um, yeah, cool. I see the gate. <laughs> Woo, okay, so backwards was not my jam. No, I did not like that. Um, I mean, I did, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of fun, but it literally got intense. Uh, I mean, I was like, kind of, yeah. Okay. Very cool. All right, so, like I said, I will go ahead and I'm gonna come out here real quick and check and see if anybody is uh, watching. And chatting. Hey, we got a couple of people in here. So, uh, Melvin. Hey, Melvin, what's going on? What's the seat thing? Well, I just kind of explained that. Um, it, it is the Yaw VR personal motion simulator. And I'm going to have links for all of that in the description, guys. Um, so, um, I've always loved Yaw, but Pimax, big thumbs down for me after all the... Yeah, you know, I, you know, okay, here's the weird thing, GTGT, GT, and I'm not lying to you, brother. I mean, I, I, people say I'm one of the more honest guys out here. It really depends on your face shape and size, because even in the 5K plus here, I don't have blurry visuals in my peripheral. And I, I mean, I guess I was just blessed with the right eye to lens distance and, you know, right IPD or I don't know, but even in this 5k plus, I don't have problems. And in my 8kx, it, it looks even better. So uh, I mean, yeah, but I do say I'm not all rah, 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 Pimax. I mean, they do have their issues. So, um, all right, let's see here. Um, Reverb G2 is amazing. Um, uh, WMR software. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree. Uh, GT. So they, they, I got to tell you, it, it is, yes, I have, I have played No Limits 2 with the Reverb G2 and it is amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. Um, but the Windows Mixed Reality is kind of one of the things that holds it back. Now, if you pair it with the, the index controllers here, it, it is a, a super, super good headset. Because uh, the headset tracking is great. It just needed better controllers. Um, okay. Hey, Michael. What's going on, man? Yeah, definitely. Uh, try No Limits too. This is this is fun stuff. And, and I'll get back to it right now, guys. I know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Because all you're seeing is just a bouncing little white square. I should have thrown on the open VR capture. But once again, it's still, it's still not working correctly uh, with... Uh, uh, OBS. Uh, it, it makes it look really, really low frame rate. And, and I hope that you guys are getting a decent frame rate tonight. Um, I have upgraded to fiber. I have upgraded my computer. I've done everything I possibly can uh, to uh, 
to get better internet here uh, for for these streams that I do because I really do I, I I do enjoy the streaming I actually enjoy this much more than um, doing my you know doing my uh, polished posted review videos and stuff like that I mean I, I mean obviously I can't do reviews live that would be crazy okay let's see here just looking for a new one ooh never ending storms no. That's a five ride, and I haven't figured out how to walk around in the parks yet. Um, Schwarzland and Pro. Oh, scenic. Uh, a simple coaster along a nice scenic der- terrain. So let's try this. Because that last one got me. That backward stuff, man. Oh, God. If you're just joining the stream, I've got the replay on. Roll it back. I just had to watch. I just had to ride a roller coaster that goes backwards in VR in a motion simulator. It was crazy. It was absolutely nuts. Also, I have been having massive audio problems all the time on all my recordings and all my streams lately. So please let me know in the uh, chat if you can hear my voice and hear the game audio, which really the game audio is not much in this. I mean, you know, it's just clickety clack and track noise. And well, this is, yes, this is scenic, but it is not very relaxing. It's pretty fast. I thought it was just going to be a chill ride, but that's all right. That's all right. This is the part where I'd try to make out with my girlfriend at Astroworld when I was like 14 uh, in the tunnel. Um, yeah. Did I say that on camera? It's, uh, you know, the middle of the night. And, yeah, you know. Um, so, just saying. I gotta say, even the simplest of graphics in VR can really really trick your brain and and you know and i don't know I, I i know i'm bad god i babble so much guys tell me just tell me to shut up uh, i mean seriously i will just blah 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 blah. but i mean uh, i don't know it, it the i think the thing that is really helping to trick my brain right now is this increased head tracking smoothness i mean it is it is night and day difference i i I mean, for anyone who has not experienced what I'm talking about here with with the difference of 144 hertz versus 90 hertz versus 675, 72, you know, all the different ranges that our headsets run in these days, it, it is it is insanely different to to experience it at anything above 120. I mean, I, I, it's kind of diminishing to me a little bit between the 120 and the 144 that I'm seeing right here. But, I mean, I don't know, like I said, if it's coming off on camera that you guys can tell uh, when I move my head. But it is just so much smoother. And, and it, you know, I don't know. And, like I said in the description, for people who are joining, I've kind of been debating this the entire stream. I normally play in 4K resolution headsets like the G2 or the 8KX because I'm that guy. I'm a graphics snob. I want it to look as crisp and beautiful and lifelike as possible. Whoa, oh, jeez, I just switched cars. I didn't know you could even do that. Oh, cool, that's a different perspective. I kind of like that better. It gives me a, a depth cue. Oh, Okay, I wonder if you could ride. Oh, yeah, I could ride at the back of the train. I gotta figure out how to do that. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay, that changes things a little bit. Oh, that added some kind of. Yeah, because now I've got a depth cue. Oh, I like this. It also, to me, it adds a little more realism because, you know, riding in the back of, ooh, spooky tunnel, uh, riding in the back of the, the car, especially in wooden roller coasters. Like, I grew up in Texas, so we would go to uh, Astro World in Houston, and uh, you would ride the Texas Cyclone, which was the world's largest, fastest, you know, second largest, fastest wooden roller coaster based off the Cyclone in Coney Island. And, 
the back was always a little bit more violent and shaky and it really kind of lends credibility to sitting in the yaw here because you, you're kind of, you know, kind of bouncing around. You've got the rumble going from the vibration. Now, I do turn most of that off when I'm streaming because it does get kind of loud. Um, and, of course, it's midnight something and my wife and kids are asleep in the other room. But, uh, wow. Oh, man. Dig that. That was really cool. I like that track. All right, so let's see here. We've rode Colossus. Um, Flying Dutchman. That's a classic. Guazi. I haven't ridden that one yet. Hydra. I haven't ridden that one yet. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. I, I don't know. You know, I guess we'll go until my head is spinning. <laughs> spinning. Spin. The Spin Melter 3000. Oh, should we? Do we dare? Do we dare do the Spin Melter 3000? Right? It's like a telethon. Right? You know, it's like... If you just pledge just this much, I'll ride the spin melt. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. So, you know. But I do, you know, I will say I have, I will just, I got to throw it out there when I stream and record. I, yeah, I'm still out of work for the pandemic. So I do really appreciate everybody who have been, you know, kind of going to the Patreon and, you know, kind of helping me out a little bit here and there. So thanks, guys. I, I really do appreciate your help, but I'll never ask for it. So, um, well, I mean, I would ask for it if I got desperate, desperate. Thank God for DoorDash. Grubhub. So, all right. So this is a cool car. I'm digging this. Um, you know, like I said, I would love to see this with updated graphics. It is, it is very DK2 era graphics, which was, I think, the first time I rode roller coasters in No Limits in VR was back in the DK days. And, you know, that's a testament to the longevity of this one, though. And never in a million years did I think I would be riding them like I am tonight for you guys. I, this is, this is nuts. I mean, it is 20 freaking 21, and I have an amusement park in my freaking studio room in my house i mean it's oh lordy lord yeah. <laughs> oh man that's awesome uh, uh i almost feel like i got a duck i am getting those like moments of presence even sitting here blabbing to you guys i'm getting moments of presence in this oh she's oh lord that's when the magic happens, guys, when you get the motion compensation going. So for, for those who do motion simulation or who have a yaw, you guys know what I'm talking about. Most, most people just joining the stream or, you know, who are not into the whole motion simulation thing probably don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about motion compensation. So I'll explain it a little bit. It's, it's you guys are seeing me spinning around and around and, and you know, to a point and... and I'm not really doing that in the, the simulator. It's, whoa, oh, wow, that was a good feeling. Um, it, it's it's kind of simulating Gs so that that I'm feeling those turns, you know, and I think this thing can simulate, you know, up to 1G. Um, it's without the, without the ability to yaw, you have to cancel out the motion. So, so you have to be able to, to cancel the motion between the headset and the simulator. Otherwise, as the simulator turns, you know, just like trying to do VR in a car, it would get very, very difficult because you would be you spinning all over the place. I would have to constantly be mashing the reset my view button to keep my viewport straight. So motion compensation, I've got, you guys see a, a Vive tracker back there. I'm using the built-in motion compensation for Pimax headsets. And that's one of the reasons, kind of going back to, we were just talking about the G2, that you guys don't see me do the G2 in the simulator a lot. And, and that's because I cannot work out motion compensation. Now, y'all has, and, and, and Sim Racing Studio has, they're, they're, everybody's starting to figure out how to use the built-in IMU in the y'all itself. 
uh, for motion compensation, and I did get that working somewhat with my Quest 2, but it was not. It, it, it definitely was not anywhere as, as precise as, as the motion compensation I get with the uh, Pimax software. So, okay, I think we'll probably arrive a couple more here. Um, and actually, real quick, I, I will jump over because I want to see how long I've been um, streaming here. So, it looks like we're going on... Um, let's, there we go. Yeah, it looks like we're going on about 35 minutes. So, you know, I think... Um, I think uh, I'll answer just a quick uh, couple of questions, and I guess while I do that, just to make it kind of more fun for you guys, here we go. There we go. Now you can see what I see. Um, I won't leave that on for the gameplay, though. So, you know, yell and remind me to turn that back off. Yeah, like you can do that. Um, but at least now you can see what I see. So um, that way you can see my chat here. Um, yeah, like Six Flags. Hey, Clay Bomb. What's up, buddy? Um, so yeah, it's like Six Flags Mount Magic Mountain right here in my freaking house, man. Um, return my G2 mostly because of the software. Yeah, Michael, it, the software definitely needs, I mean, I just wish I got, I love HP and, and you know, I, they, they were awesome. They sent me the G2 early even. I mean, I had the G2 for almost a month before it went live and, and <sighs> They just, I, uh, it should have been a hybrid, man. If it would have just had the sensors so that I could attract it with Steam VR and just made it a native Steam VR slash Windows Mixed Reality headset, that would have been amazing. But forcing me to use the Windows Mixed Reality software most of the time, I just don't like it. Um, yep, totally worth it. No limits to. Got to agree with you, GT. Um, looks like you guys are just having a conversation there. So, um, and Michael, yes, uh, the y'all, does it work with no limits to out of the box? Pretty much, man. I mean, you know, since I've got it on here and you guys can kind of see the screen, I know I'm going to kind of turn so you can kind of see my right eye. Um, what I am using is I am using the, uh, the sim racing studio 2.0 software here. Um, and it automatically configures a ton of games. Um, there are some that you have to do little I and I tweaks to and things like that. But pretty much if you subscribe to Sim Racing Studio, it'll give you a much, much um, um, more plug and play out of the box experience, so to speak. I mean, literally I start up the simulator, I start up Sim Racing Studio, I, it asks me now to center the simulator when I'm sitting in it so that it's, you know, calibrated to my center position. Uh, like we'll do that here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and recalibrate anyway. Um, so, you know, and I'll just boom, there we go. Now it's center command has been sent to the yaw and I'm centered. So it knows uh, my center and it doesn't like the motors don't have to compensate so much. Um, with this you don't have to do anything else. You literally just, you put the Sim Racing Studio software on, you start your game, you feel the motion. I, that, that's as easy as it can get. Um, so yes and no. It, it does work with No Limits 2 out of the box. You just got to have some software. Now, Yaw does have their own software. Um, I can start it up real quick. I can show you. I'm just going to go without the device. Uh, with the Yaw software, however, it does not automatically start with your game. So it, it you have to start the game, jump alt tab out of the game, then you got to start software. So I do kind of at this point, I do recommend the the Sim Racing Studio um, software for anyone who is interested or thinking about getting a a motion uh, platform like this, or especially anyone who's thinking about backing the upcoming Kickstarter for the YAW uh, VR2. Uh, guys, if you haven't seen the YAW VR2, uh, go check out my friend Kaz and Cherry's channel. They've got a, a video on it, or just, just search it. Oh, it looks sexy. It looks gorgeous. I cannot wait to fly in that thing. Um, yeah, um... You know, GT, I do it all the time. I switch between now. Now, my reaction, okay, GT, GT is asking me here. He says, I would love you to unplug the Pimax and plug in your G2 to see your reaction to the G2 back-to-back. -back. 
Pimax to G2 live reaction, no VR because of motion compensation. Yeah, no, I mean, I can tell you, I do it every day. I mean, I, I, got, I got 15 headsets over there, and I literally use two of them. I use my Pimax 8KX, and I use my G2, and I will literally flip back and forth within minutes of doing it. And yes, I will, ex I will right here, I will say the G2 looks better. It is a gorgeous image in that G2, but I do miss the expanded field of view. And I'm sorry, like, you know, obviously for anything simulator related right now, I have to use the Pimax because the motion compensation is just rock solid. But if I had my preference right now, I would say that the G2 is pretty much my favorite headset to play with as long as I've got it paired to the index controllers. I just don't like the G2's controllers. They track like dog shit. Um, and I'm sorry, I had a few and it's night and it's late. It's like midnight. Hey, it's right up midnight, straight up midnight. So anyway... I'm going to get back to riding some stuff, but yeah, I, I'm not going to do that live on air, but I will give you the skinny. It's literally my reaction would be, wow, the G2 looks crisper, uh, slightly, slightly crisper when you get the Pimax 8KX. You got to go in and do some tuning backlight and contrast levels. And that's, you know, that's another thing I do give props to Pimax over anybody else in is in the PyTool software and the fact that I can actually tune all of this stuff. I can tune the 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 individual offsets of the IPDs, uh, you know, not mechanically, obviously, but I mean, I can tune the offsets of the screen. I can fine tune the IPD here. The the biggest ones for me is like you can individually per screen tune the contrast and brightness for every individual color channel. Uh, creating something that just looks and pops like almost L OLED. So, I don't know. That, that's my two cents on that. Um, anyway, all right. For those who did not want to sit here and watch me flip screens, I am going to go ahead and go back over to y the roller coasters. And we're going to ride a couple more of those. And then I'm going to call it a night and put my happy old ass to bed. Because I still got to get up at 7.30 in the morning. And it's midnight. Let's see here. Man, that Rocket Man was awesome. Um, Sage, what's a hybrid coaster? Let's find out. Okay, it's taking a minute for this one to load. Normally these load really quickly. Okay. Nice. Love a big hill to start off with. Oh, notice I'm not getting very much. Whoa, oh, wait, wait. Why is this? Whoa, hey now. Oh, you know what, guys? I think... Okay, so that is one thing. Well, this might be our last ride because I noticed I'm really slowing down on the motion here. Um, the one thing about the yaw is is you got to take little breaks every once in a while um, after about 45 minutes of intense use. And obviously, I've got some of the settings dialed up a little bit um, you know, um, I've got, you know, pitch back and side to side pitch turned a little higher than you normally would, um, as well as the power settings. Um, but you will start to kind of overheat the motors a little bit and it will slow down. Now it won't stop your fun. You can still ride, but it's going to limit your motion. And, and I'm starting to feel those limitations now. So I think we will probably make this one. Yeah, we'll make this one our last ride. That was kind of fun. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump out, but guys, thank you so much for coming by. If you, uh, if you did, you know, obviously if you did, you're here, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know, but for those who might watch this back later, thank you so much for uh, checking out what I uh, do here at VR Gamer Dude and uh, hanging out with me in the middle of the night when, uh, 
I have my insomnia bouts and can't sleep and decide to do freaky stuff like ride roller coasters or play horror games or, and I always stream it live. I don't know. I'm crazy like that. But if you liked what you saw and it was your first time coming by the channel, if you don't mind, do me a solid smash, subscribe, ring the bell. You know, the drill everybody asks at the end of their videos, blah, blah, blah. But you know, I'd like to grow the channel. Uh, I'd like to keep doing this for you guys. So, uh, you know, ring the bell. Smash the subscribe, and if you already did, thank you so much. You're really, really helping me out, guys. You're helping me to grow this channel and to spread the word about VR and cool VR peripherals. So, But for me, I think that's going to do it tonight, guys. I think it is time for me to go hit the couch. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.